Good morning, everybody. It's Bonnie Hunter in the Quiltville studio. How many of you know that I've been writing the Addicted to Scraps column for Quiltmaker magazine since 2010? Isn't that crazy? This is where time goes when you're having fun, because I can't believe it's been that long. But I am working on a quilt that was a featured block in my Addicted to Scraps column in the November-December 2016 issue. Some things need to age <laughs> before you get a chance to really make them into quilt. And this is the thing about uh, providing the Addicted to Scraps blocks. There are so many blocks in that column that I've thought to myself as I'm making the samples, this needs to be a real quilt. This needs to be a full quilt. I want to make this quilt. So I'm finally doing this one. Let me turn my camera around for you. All right, so here's my pieces on the table. And uh, this block is in progress and the it was time for me to shut the machine down and we were going out to dinner with some friends last night. So this is where I left off. These are the pieces that I kitted up last week. I did a whole bunch of cutting. I like to do this, put on a podcast and then just press and cut and press and cut and then use my wonder clips to hold the pieces together so that I can easily just grab one block at a time, make that block. Over here is my little nifty difty handy cup of wonder clips. You keep that handy, all right? But over here on the floor, I'm just laying things out. So here's my ladder star blocks. They are made with all recycled fabrics for the colors. And then the neutrals are all just fun neutral prints from my abundant <laughs> 40 year stash. Do you know that I started quilting when I was barely 20 and I'm now 62? So that means that my fabric stash has my own vintage fabrics in it. But these are really fun and I like the way that you can turn the blocks and then it makes another star in the center here and then you get this big star in an on point diamond and then you get another small star here. So I've got a, a bunch of blocks still to make and I'm planning on a pieced border but this is where you will find me on my Monday today. It's a, It's been a UFO for a while but I'm liking it. So how about you? What does this week hold for you? I hope that you get a chance to spend some creative time in your studio. Go through some of those older projects that have been languishing and maybe you can pull them out and if they don't fit your original plan, you can turn them into something else. Just get in there and play with the fabric and, and the quilt will come. You'll figure it out. And that's what I'm doing with this one. I'm figuring it out. A block that's been in a magazine since 2016 is finally going to become a quilt. It's Monday here in the studio. I have another group coming on Wednesday afternoon, but today I get to play. Have a wonderful day, everybody. We'll catch you later. Bye-bye.